हेलो माय डियर स्टूडेंट्स हाउ आर यू वंस अगेन आई वेलकम यू ऑल टू योर केमिस्ट्री लैब एंड टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू डेमोन्स्ट्रेट व्हाट इज एफरबसेंस यस दिस इज फॉर योर क्लास सेवन एट नाइन टेन ओके ऑल रिक्वायर दिस कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ एफरबसेंस ओके समटाइम्स मोस्ट ऑफ यू हैव कन्फ्यूजन okay what is effervescence and when should we use this term effervescence so i will explain you through one demonstration okay it will be very interesting so stay till the end of the video and learn what is effervescence today before i start the demonstration i would like to show you what are the uh, different things i required for today's demonstration so let's move on for today's demonstration i require one test tube test tube holders i require sodium bicarbonate salt you can see this is sodium bicarbonate i require distilled water i require acid here i am using acetic acid i require one stirrer i require one spatula this is a spatula you can see so these are the things i require for our today's demonstration so now let us move on to the demonstration Let's begin today's demonstration. First, I will take a clean test tube and I will attach it to a test tube holder like this. After this, I will add with the help of a spatula I will add little amount of sodium bicarbonate salt in to the test tube. So here I am adding little amount of sodium bicarbonate into the test tube. After this I will add little amount of distilled water into it and i will try to prepare a solution of this salt because in the solution state the reaction will be faster so i have prepared a solution of sodium bicarbonate here now i will tilt the test tube in a certain angle say 45 degree and then i will add acetic acid which i am using here now let's see first what happens if i add this acetic acid into this solution you will notice that immediately bubbles will form now my dear students please note when that bubbles form because i will explain what actually is happening so pay attention here we move now by the side of the test tube i am adding little amount of you can see my dear student what is happening this bubble formation is actually nothing this is only what we call effervescence my dear students you can see here that how this bubbles are forming 
Now, what is the reason behind this? The reason is that here in this reaction, one of the product is gaseous product that is carbon dioxide. You can see here that this is carbon dioxide gas. It is coming in the form of bubble because carbon dioxide is lighter than the liquid product which is formed here. So whenever in the reaction you see that in the product some gaseous formations are there with some liquid gradually that gaseous comes in the forms of effervescence or bubbling here or in the formation of bubble. This is actually what we call effervescence. You can see still how the effervescence of carbon dioxide we are getting in this case. Still there is formation of bubbles. How this carbon dioxide gas in this case or in this demonstration is coming in the form or liberated in the form of effervescence. So effervescence is a term we usually used to describe whenever there is some gaseous formation in the form of bubbling in the liquid or solution during the course of a chemical reaction. You can see clearly my dear student that how the effervescence has formed. Still the bubbling is continued. So, let us see if I add little more amount of salt here, then what happen? You see, as already the acid is being used for the formation of the effervescence, so this time I am not getting such a huge response for that effervescence but still you can see that gases it is coming out in the form of effervescence so if i want to get more i have to add again little more amount of acetic acid and again you can see that there can be formation of effervescence but this time you see it's not like the previous because already you have used or we have used the salt and that carbon dioxide has already liberated. So I hope through this demonstration you understood the concept of effervescence. So once again before I end the demonstration I would like to show you once again what happened in very short. I have prepared sodium bicarbonate solution and in that I have added acetic acid and you see that there is a formation of effervescence. Effervescence means the release of gas and the formation of bubbles during the course of reaction. So here in this case, this is carbon dioxide gas, okay, which is colorless and odorless. If I pass this gas through lime water, it will turn milky. So that's all what we have done or learned in today's demonstration. I hope all of you understood the meaning of effervescence in the practical. Thank you for watching this video.